rebuilding. A catastrophic failure, a new start. Physically, mentally, our careers, our businesses. Step back, first step, next step. The driver in me just wants to get it done tomorrow. We'll do this, do that, let's move this, where are we at with this? You build some confidence, build some self-esteem, start to feel better about yourself. The Silverback Blueprint Podcast, a show for men over 40. We focus on getting stronger, staying motivated, building discipline, creating a community, and becoming truly happy. Hey guys, and welcome to the Silverback Blueprint. What if I can't keep this shit up? You know where I'm going with that is um, I'm at a point now with things, with training, with the business, with the brand, where things are really going well. You know, and I, and I never want to say too well because I don't believe in that. Um, but it's a feeling I've gotten a few times in the past when things have, have started to go really well. And then all of a sudden, I get this, this weird feeling. And I get, you know, call it a fear, call it a apprehension. Uh, and, and I get kind of caught up with, with, what if I can't keep this up, right? Things are going really well. What if I fuck this shit up? And, you know, back in the day when I drank... You know, that's when the drinking would come in more and stuff to help quell that fear. Uh, it's kind of similar to what we talked about before, uh, uh, you know, about the uh, imposter syndrome, but just a little bit different. It's really about, you know, thinking like the old me, I think is the way uh, I, I look at it overall, is that, you know, the old me was less confident. The old me was more broken. So um, those thoughts would come across more often, but I just, I just felt that the other day I was coming back from a really, really good meeting with, uh, uh, a, a gym about, uh, carrying the line, they've been carrying the line, taking things to the next level, a couple projects we're talking about working on. And, and, uh, it just sort of struck me on the drive back. It was about an hour drive back. And I just got that weird feeling all of a sudden. And, um, you know, I just, I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to face it. So this was just yesterday, actually. So I know this podcast is coming out in June sometime. Uh, right now we're uh, mid, mid-March, mid just past my 50th birthday. Um, and, you know, it, I, I recognize that feeling. I think that's the thing. You know, it was like, oh, I haven't felt like this in a long time. And when I look at things, you know, things haven't been hopping like this in a long time as well. So, you know, I, I want to talk a bit about what I'm feeling with that and share with you guys. And, and, and you know, maybe we can uh, come up with some cool ideas and stuff. But at the end of the day, it really made me think as to why this was happening. Why was this happening now? And, you know, is it the fear of the unknown? Is it the fear of uh, just, hey, I'm going to have to work hard just to maintain this? You know, I think in the past, that was more of a concern when I wasn't as healthy physically and mentally. I would get tired. I would feel tired. I wouldn't do as much self-care. So I, I would feel like, hey, at any moment, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck some shit up here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink a little too much or I'm going to get really tired and I'm going to want to bail for three or four days or whatever, right? And I have that fear because that's what I've done in the past years ago. So I think it's, it's, it's kind of justified based on, you know, my track record, if I'm being honest. But the other thing I have to remember, and I truly believe this, is that that's the track record of the old me, right? The old me that had more issues to deal with, that wasn't as honest with himself. The old me that wasn't as, as healthy physically and mentally, right? And, and wasn't as well equipped. I think that's the big difference, right? Is that now, having made a ton of changes over the last few years, um, I'm in a better I'm in a better position. I'm a better version of me. And that's really the quest, right? Isn't that what we're talking about? The whole point of these podcasts is creating a better version of myself, bringing out that the best version of me that I know that's still inside that I'm chipping away at every day, every week, every month uh, to make better, right? But with that comes responsibility. With that comes uh, a heightened awareness of, you know, we're at this point again, and there's a point in time where you can't always keep coming back. Do you know what I mean? Like you can't keep using up all your nine lives. Uh, there's a point where you run out of lives, right? So, you know, we make mistakes, we progress, hopefully we learn from them. But if the cycle doesn't, uh, doesn't get fixed, meaning that all of a sudden we come back to that same spot where, you know, same thing. I feel like things are going really well. Can I handle this? Can I keep this up? The fear of success is very much a real thing. You know, fear of failure we hear a lot about, but fear of success. When you talk to, to guys and girls that have really achieved something, um, they'll tell you that the fear of success is something they battle more often 
than the fear of failure. Because after a while, you realize that you don't you 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 don't really fail. You learn and you get back up and you know you fall down eight times, get up nine. You've all heard that bullshit before. Uh, it's true bullshit though. But at the end of the day. Um, that's not a concern because we we've learned how to fail and we've learned how to restart, right? We we've gotten good at that. Um, it's I, I really think it's the unknown. It's where is this going to be and what is this going to look like? And you know when you're stepping somewhere for the first time, there's no other footprints to follow, right? There's no other guide so much to to see a visible one, a, 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 an, an apparent one. So it can become you know quite you know, lonely, I guess is the word. And, and it, it all comes down on you, right? Uh, as the individual, you, you know, you have to rely on yourself. You have to be confident, but every once in a while, some of those fears are going to creep in. So I, I just found it really interesting, but at the same time, what motivated me about it is that things truly must be at a much higher level of improvement and, and excitement and, and progress for me to have that old feeling, that old friend to come back and try to bully me and stuff. So I, I took that as a positive in the end. I said, you know what? That's a sure sign that I'm I'm at a next level of things and things are moving forward and moving faster. So at the end, I, I think it's kind of like, you know, a welcome nemesis, if you will, right? Um, the quality of our, uh, of our challenges is really what tells us how well we're improving what's going on. If we're facing the same old, same old thing at the same level, we're really not improving. We're not changing. But if the challenges, you know, get bigger, it's because we're getting bigger, right? So that's really how I have to spin that whole script in my head. And, and even just, you know, I, I wrote some notes about this and, and what I want to talk about today, but even talking about it and just, you know, putting words to it, you know, has made me instantly as I'm doing this, feel better about it and, and, and embrace it and, and just say, Hey, that's, that's just the territory, man. When you, things start getting much better and you start moving forward, right. Get ready to deal with that feeling of, can I keep this shit up overall? And deep down inside, I know I can now, uh, deep down inside. I also believe I have to, like, there's no, there's no backing down. We've burnt the fucking boats. We're not going back. Right. And at 50, Right. I also know that I don't want to come back and have to rebuild this at 55, at 60. Right. If something calamitous happened, big word for today, um, that was out of my control. Right. I know I could rebuild it. That's a different story. But what I don't want to have is I don't want to fuck shit up in my own hands and have to rebuild that because that is 10 times harder. Right. And that is a lot more controllable. I have a lot more to say as to whether that happens or not, right? So, you know, I'll have those conversations with myself where I literally will say, my voice in my head, fuck that, let's keep going, right? Grab that shit and let's move forward and stuff, right? So it's super, super important overall. Um, it's a great spot to be in. Um, I'm super excited, super motivated, and uh, ah, a little terrified once in a while. But they say, right, if, if, if what you're going after doesn't scare the shit out of you, it's not big enough, Right. So, you know, I take that with a bit of a grain of salt, but I, I think there's a lot of truth to it as well, too. Right. And uh, getting out there and just doing cool stuff is uh, exciting. But like I said, it, it is like, you know, a juggler. You got to keep all the balls in the air. You just got to get better at juggling. Ooh, that's a good way. I think we'll end it there. That was pretty cool. I'm fucking smart today. Guys, listen, head on over to iTunes, leave us a review, a five-star rating. That helps us out tremendously. Don't forget to head on over to HostileGear.com. Check out some cool stuff. As you heard at the beginning of this episode, the new Work Hard Motherfucker t-shirt is now available. They're flying off the shelf. Well, I just put them up this morning, but I've sold five or six already, which is cool. But they're pretty sharp, and uh, guys and girls are loving them already and stuff like that. This is, a guy, this is a show for guys, but I know some of you girls sneak in here and listen to it, and that's okay. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's podcast episode. If you haven't already got your new Work Hard Motherfucker t-shirt, head on over to HostileGear.com, save 20% using the discount code SILVERBACK and get that bad boy on your back. It looks good. It's slightly offensive. It's a great message. Don't wear it to church, but wear it to any family function. I'll talk to you guys later.